Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Rongejana and you tuned in to Thursday, the 28th of September 2023's Rhapsody Reading. Today's title is Pray for a Receptive Heart. While you're still at that, please subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Kindly like these videos and share them with your loved ones. And don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. The opening scripture is James chapter 1 verse 21 which reads as follows. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. And receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Pastor says, when you share God's word with others, no matter what you say, it may not work unless the Holy Spirit ministers to their hearts. You may preach and teach, but if the Spirit of God isn't ministering to their hearts, it's not going to be effective. That's the reason why prayer is crucial. When you pray for others in this context, it's not about you, but your hearers, that the Lord will give them a receptive heart and that the darkness that blinds their hearts be dispelled and the power of evil holding them in bondage is broken. Remember the words of Paul the Apostle, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. That's First Corinthians chapter two, verse four to five. As a result, I learned to pray, saying, "In the name of the Lord Jesus, you you evil spirit of darkness that has blinded and put a." a mist in the heart of so and so to stop him from seeing and understanding the word. I break your influence on his heart and mind. When I started doing this, I got amazing results. The Holy Spirit opened their hearts to receive the truths and teachings of the word of God without distractions. If there was any hardness or resistance prior to meeting them, it would melt away. And in them, a deep hunger and thirst for the spiritual would be awakened. Praise God. Always pray earnestly for those to whom and with whom you share the word of God. When you do, the transformative power of the word that brings conviction, understanding, and a desire for a closer relationship with the Lord will be kindled within their hearts. Amen. Let us take the prayer. Say, Dear Father, I pray that the minds of those to whom I preach the gospel be receptive to your word as your wisdom leaps out of the message and inundates their hearts. They will walk the path of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, being enlightened, refreshed, informed, and strengthened to fulfill their purpose in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. For further studies, we read Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 to 19, James chapter 5, verse 16 with the AMPC Bible version. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we read Ephesians 4, verse 17, and chapter 5, verse 1 to 2, and also Isaiah 25 to chapter 26, all of it. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, today we read John chapter 1, verse 35 to 42, and 1 Kings chapter 3, all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Do join us tomorrow. As we read a message titled, Praying in Tongues is Key. Praise the Lord. This is Information with Tepiso.
Thank you so much for tuning in and have a beautiful day.